But my, my kids and I were playing video games one day um, this year, and we, we, I'm going to be honest, we use cheat codes. You put cheat codes in, you can win. It's so much easy. It is. You do. You put cheat codes in, and you win. And one day, my middle son looked at me, and he goes, you know what? Cheat codes are just like the Bible. The Bible is and always will be the best cheat codes to life. And man, that hit us because the Bible, especially this last year, has really gotten us through, you know? And the Bible is, I'll tell you one of the biggest scriptures that helped us. God saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire, not from the fire. And so again, we were in the fire and God was right there with us. And the Bible, I mean, we clung to scriptures and it got us through a lot of hard times. And I just wanna encourage you guys to, especially if you're going through a hard time, man, be in the word, you know? And the Bible's not boring. Even like flying in, I was reading about doubting Thomas and I was like, that's so weird because he doubted one time, one time. One time on a date, I laughed and a snot bubble came out. (laughs) I don't wanna be known as snot bubble Bob the rest of my life. And the Bible is not boring. It is, it's kind of violent, right? There's some violent stuff in there. I remember my, uh, Xander, my youngest, was having uh, nightmares. And so I thought, I'm going to read him a Bible story every night. So yeah, yeah. some of you are ahead of me. Where were you then? <laughs> he was four, and I decided, oh, David and Goliath will be good. I didn't even think it through. I was just sitting there, and I was like, and David picked up the sword, and he cut, ooh. And he goes, he cut what, daddy? And I was like, he cut the cheese. (laughs) And my son's growing up in the woodland. So he was like, is David not gluten free? And uh, I didn't even get to answer him because my oldest was there. And he was like, get to the part about Bathsheba on the roof. (laughs) But that's the deal. The Bible is full of like interesting, really cool stuff. You know, I wish the Bible was longer. I know that like some people are thinking it's too long. It's like, I wish Joseph, Jesus's dad, would have written a chapter. With, seriously, Jesus' dad, how cool would that to be? You know, because I, Jesus as a kid, did he ever, he had powers, did he use them? Every dad ever be like, hey, I need you to water the plants. And he was like, oh, it is finished. <laughs> yeah. Or did his dad, I mean, his dad knew who he was. Did he ever use that? Did he ever be like, hey, son, will you uh, put your finger in that water for me? <laughs> There's my Baptist. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it is. And, and the thing is, I mean, you know, you know he, Jesus was sinless, but Joseph had to have gotten on to him as a kid. Did he ever have to just pull him and look, look, son, stop spitting in everyone's eyes, okay? <laughs> when you go to school, you don't have to share your lunch with everyone, you know? <laughs> Leave that chicken alone. That is our dinner. It needs to stay dead. Um, <clears throat> or he could have written a chapter on being humble. Because I'm telling you, that had to be a struggle with him. His son was Jesus. He ha- I would have bragged all the time. I would have found other like, dads and be like, is that your kid playing in the dirt? He looks fun. <laughs> Can't introduce you to mine. He's way over there. <laughs> walking on the lake, you know, right? <laughs> I would have, I would have, I would have bragged. I, I would have put a bumper sticker on the back of my donkey. <laughs> <laughs> my son saved your honor, student. And <laughs> so, um, 